This video is an updated overview of Hyperion Synth user interface to help new users get started. Hyperion user interface includes several distinct areas. The top panel of the interface provides a zoom control, the info page button, the oscilloscope and main volume control area. To the right of that is the All Notes Off button, the Global Mute Toggle Switch, the Registration Status Area, and at the far right the CPU Load, Version Number, and Global Hyperion Settings Panel button. Below the top panel and to the left, is the Patch Browser Area. To the right of that is the Layers List. And on the right hand side of the UI is the Patch Editing Area, where you can place nodes and connections between them, and open edit panels to adjust settings. The bottom right area of the UI is the macro controls and virtual keyboard area. These controls are global and affect all layers. As a first time user, you will probably want to listen to some of the existing sounds in the patch library. Sounds are selected from the patch browser on the left hand side of the interface, either by double clicking items in the list, or by selecting then clicking on the load patch button. Hyperion is a multi-layer synth. When selecting patches, the patch loading mode affects how layers are loaded. The Patch Priority Audition Mode button lets you switch between the standard loading mode and patch priority mode. In the standard loading mode, single layer patches can be inserted into existing layers without removing all the current layers. This allows you to build a multi-layer combi patch or customize an existing combi that you loaded previously. In patch priority mode, loading even a single layer patch will remove all existing layers and replace them with just the single layer patch. This is useful if you want to browse patches to hear how they sound without any other layers loaded, and avoids the need to manually solo, or mute or delete other layers. In either mode, loading a combi patch will replace all current layers. The patch browser can be expanded to a larger multi-column interface by clicking on the large browser mode button at the top of the browser area. When you first install Hyperion, the software settings should already be set up such that the patch list directory has already been set to the default factory demo patches folder that is installed with the software. If you need to select a different patch directory, or wish to save your own patches to a separate directory, you can select a different root folder for patch storage by clicking on the folder icon. Browse to the directory where you want to store patches or where any newly downloaded patches folder has been saved. Hyperion will automatically search directories for patches, and if there are any, they will appear in the list. In both the compact and large patch browser mode, you can filter sounds by sound type, and up to three categories. The large mode browser provides a more convenient filter toggle buttons interface which automatically hides categories that are not available after each selection. At the expense of screen real estate. Hyperion UI will automatically hide the patch editing area in large patch browser mode. However, if your monitor is wide enough, and you stretch the interface far enough horizontally, the patch editing area will reappear. Hyperion can create combi patches with up to 16 layers. If you want to add a new layer, click on the plus button at the top of the layers area. You can also duplicate a layer with the button to the right of the add layer button. Each layer is shown by a separate layer controls box in the layers list. You can change the layer name by right clicking on it. The layer controls show the patch name of each individual layer. If you loaded a combi patch, the previously saved combi name will appear at the top of the layers list. If you make any changes to the layers by replacing, adding, or removing a layer, the combi name will change color from blue to dark orange. Each layer has controls for selecting the MIDI channel, whether it is muted or soloed, the layer volume, the transpose amount, and the velocity and key number ranges. If you want to add new patches to existing or added layers, select the target layer, then load the patch. To avoid accidentally deleting the current combi, it's helpful to select the single layer patches filter. If you accidentally erase the combi or a layer unintentionally, you can use the undo button to restore a previous layer state from a list of available undo timestamps. 
This has been a quick overview of Hyperion for first-time users. Even before delving into patch design, you can already design a lot of interesting sounds by combining existing patches into multi-layer combi patches, adjusting levels, key and velocity zones, and transpose settings. To save your newly created combi, click on the Save button at the top of the layers area. You can enter information about the patch, author name, an instrument type and sound categories in the pop-up save dialog. The patch will be saved to the current active directory and the patch list will be automatically refreshed to include your new patch. Check out the other videos on this channel that cover more details on single layer patch creation within the node graph.